Hi everyone. I hope you guys are doing great today. I am fabulous. As a matter of fact, I am in the Big Apple today. I'm with James, my boyfriend. Um, we decided to come up and enjoy the weekend and enjoy a few events. But while we're here, instead of staying in the hotel, we decided to try Airbnb for the first time. So we want to share this journey with you about our experience with Airbnb. So this is the entrance to the apartment. It is a one bedroom, fully furnished apartment. And as you can see, it is already decorated for Christmas. I am a huge, huge lover of Christmas. So this is perfect. I am so excited. Let's go inside. Oh, look who's there. Welcome to my space, man. <laughs> Everyone, this Hi. is my sweetie, James. And when you come in, it is well laid out, nice furniture. Greet you. There is a coat stand and beautiful, beautiful artwork. Very simple. There are lots of quotes all throughout the location. And this one, of course, is one of my favorite this is from Bob Marley, everything's going to be all right. Three little birds beside my doorstep singing a sweet song, a melody pure as gold. Saying, this is my message to you. Ooh, ooh. Anyway, and then on the top there, there's a, another quote that says, there's no place like home. I want to click my heels together. Beautiful. I love these sunken stairs. As I open the door, I'm just flabbergasted because it makes me think of the little quote that she has in the foyer that says, there's no place like home. And I actually feel like I'm at home. This is absolutely beautiful. I love the flooring. I love the wainscoting. I love the different textures and fabrics. The artwork is beautiful. It, it simply flows. Um, but instead of me talking to you about it, how about I show it to you? And as you can see, not overwhelming on the decorations, absolutely perfect. And again, I love the different textures, um, the feathers, the fabric on the chair. If you look at the row on the couch it is so cozy makes you just want to curl up on it but this is absolutely probably one of my favorite parts of the room is that she's thought of everything um, if you're a reader there are books galore there's also a game of Scrabble if you want to play games so she's thought of everything and then take a look at the curtains geometric shapes and again it goes back to the the simplistic yet elegant decorations in this room. Just absolutely gorgeous. And take a look at that wainscoting. Beautiful. Gonna take you around the room one more time. And I love the table and the rug. The fact that it's Christmas themed, one of my favorite holidays. I love that she thought about that as well. Beautiful. And there's just one other thing that we really like about when we entered into the room. You know how when you go to the hotel, they have a book that tells you this place and that place to eat in banks and so forth. She actually has a book like that. How cool is that? Talking about attention to detail. Love it. As I walk into the kitchen, first thing that I notice is the fruit in the bowl. And the uh, host, once again, is attention to detail is uncanny. You look on the wall. And you see, you know, more quotes that tie into the theme of uh, the whole house. Um, you know, just pan around here so you can see the kitchen, the entire area, has a full size refrigerator, and uh, of course, a breakfast nook with a uh, coffee maker and stuff. An open refrigerator, and um, the host has stocked it with um, amenities to get us started in the morning. 
All right, so we're gonna continue on and head to the bedroom. This is our bedroom, and I am already in love just walking in the door. First of all, I am loving him. <laughs> the bedding is absolutely divine. I love fluffy pillows. I love beautiful, soft comforters. I love the fabrics, the textures. I love the design in this room. I love everything about the room. The color on the wall, it's so comforting. But what was really, really beautiful and really sweet was this. We walked in and we saw this personalized handwritten note in this gift to James and I. Perfect. Couldn't get much better than that. But let me show you the rest of the room. I'm gonna go back over the curtains and things and show you the beautiful headboard and the fluffy pillows. And I love this dresser. I am a big fan of traditional um, and I love the stoutness of it. But what I love also, and I keep saying I love it is because I actually do, is that it's decorated so nicely. Again, men or women could stay in this room and be very, very comfortable because it's not too masculine. Here's one of my other favorites, and they're right in the same corner, is this ottoman. Well, it's not an ottoman, but it's a storage bench. I love things like this because it's fashionable, but you can still use it for organizing and keeping things neat. And I have OCD to a certain degree. I like everything to have its own place. And I also love this closet because it doubles as a place for someone to make sure that they got their gear um, intact. And it's a closet as well. And here's another great feature about this room, which I thought she gave uh, a lot of detail, was this small linen closet. Inside the linen closet, of course, there's linens, but she made sure we had shampoo, deodorant, there's an iron and an ironing board. Everything you could possibly need is in this room. This apartment is fabulous. And last but not least, we are going to go and take a look at the cute bathroom. We spend a lot of time in the bathroom getting dressed and so forth, so you want it to be comfortable. I know in my own bathroom, it's really, comfy so I was really really excited when I walked in and saw the backsplash I see the storage but look she's got these nice little lotions and doodads for us to use so much attention to detail and look at the shower hey check this out she even went through and made sure that she had these little bumpers put on the door so it doesn't bang up against the sink. I mean, again, attention to detail. Crazy. I love it. And look at this fabulous little furry rug. Again, she has used fabrics and textures and shapes and different uh, metals and really done an excellent job. But here is what really seals the deal for me. One of the things that the chic, classy, spicy, channel is about is living fearlessly and unapologetically no matter what your age is as long as you're being authentic to self. This quote on her wall says it all. Nothing is impossible. The word itself says I'm possible. How cool is that? Yes, I think we'll be staying here again. And finally, just a little bit more detail and the cute little window. So I think all in all, you could probably say we are sold. What do you think? Phenomenal. So do you think we'll be back, James? Oh, definitely. Definitely? Oh, we, that means I'm going to have another trip. My almonds? <laughs> it's, it's a wonderful place. You can. I mean, words escape me. So I hope that if um, you do have the opportunity to stay here, you will really get to encompass all that we feel about this place and I'm not one to get very emotional I say I don't but <laughs> this place here will bring it out of you because it's, it's such a, a very comfortable and it has a sense of home it doesn't feel like you're in a hotel it's a sense of home and I love it 
Peace. Thanks so much for going through this um, tour with us with our Airbnb um, unit. It's again our first time and we are very, very impressed as you heard Jane say. Um, what I'd like to know is have you ever stayed at an Airbnb and what were your thoughts? Would you do it again? Would you um, recommend it for someone, whether they be single or a couple? I know for me, I probably wouldn't have done this alone, um, but because James is here with me, it made the experience um, much easier um, and I'm sold on it. And if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button down below and tell others about us. And as always, have an awesome day on purpose and keep it chic, classy, and spicy. Till next time.